Hi. From Atlanta, Christine with Where in the World is CL, and I have a free weekend, so I decided 30 hours, let's spend it in a city where someone tells me I'm gonna find some adventures. So I've got no plans. It's 1 p.m. on a Saturday, and I think I'm gonna start my day with champagne. Duh, but let's back it up, back it up. First, let's talk about why Atlanta is so easy to travel to. Atlanta is a huge Delta hub, and I love this airline, so I flew in direct on a one hour, 20 minute flight from West Palm Beach, Florida. One of the reasons why I chose Atlanta over another city like New York is because getting from the airport to the city is so easy. Marta cost me two fifty and just 20 minutes from the airport. During a short weekend, you don't wanna lose any time in transit, so that was key for me in picking this city. I decided to book myself at the American, which is a double tree hotel that was just a couple blocks from the Marta stop, and it was well located next to restaurants and things I wanted to do. It was actually really quaint and cute. Awesome location and whoa, super cheap. It was only 1.15 a night to stay here on a Saturday night, sweet. Once I dropped my bags in the room, I went downstairs and did the champagne thing you saw earlier and then it was time to find some food. A few blocks away is a place called the Food Shop. It has a ton of really amazing reviews, mine included, and it has really good gumbo and cornbread. But as much as I love to eat, it's time for adventure. Ubers are easy to find in Atlanta and a 10 minute 2.1 mile ride cost me just $9. When I'm traveling alone, I'll often post on social media where I'm at, which led me to find out that I had a friend that was in Atlanta at the same time for Pride. While the main event is the parade on Sunday, they do have a big event in Piedmont Park on Saturday. So with vodka soda in hand, I enjoyed people watching and walking around the park and the sound of a DJ spinning nasty hip hop will always grab my attention. So I had a good time watching the divas in the dance circle before meeting up with my friends. We decided to adventure to a gay bar near the park called Blake's. No surprise, there was a $10 cover to get in and it was fairly busy, but drinks were unbelievably cheap. It was just $6 a pop for that top shelf good good. And then we decided to meet later, but... This walk to dinner is taking way too long, so I'm gonna speed things up with this scooter. <laughs> Maybe I've had too much to drink for this. I didn't, so it was time for a pre-dinner drink. I got to Bar Margo early, which there ain't nothing better than rolling up to a fancy Four Seasons hotel on a scooter. Yes, of course I love the vibe and the DJ, but the bubbly selection was what I loved the most. Let's just say dinner was fab and so was the rest of my night, and this is how it ended. I've been drinking champagne all night. Look at me. I'm tired. <laughs> new day, new adventure. But first, coffee. While I was having my coffee in my room, I was using a combination of Google Maps and Yelp to find nearby adventures. And a little rainy day just wasn't going to stop me because really, it's just water. So in search of a view, some brunch, and of course, champagne, I made my way to the Sundial restaurant located inside the Weston Hotel. It was um, really up there. Just the elevator ride alone is cool. And if you're not paying to eat at the restaurant, you can enjoy the observation deck for just $8. I love experiences like this because it's amazing to me that, wow, a building is capable of being 72 stories tall and I can ride from zero to 100, I mean, the 72nd floor. Maybe it's just me, but things like this blow my mind. When I sat down for brunch, I was surprised. It wasn't nearly as expensive as I expected it to be. And with it being cloudy out, it wasn't crowded. More champagne for me. While I was enjoying the view, I thought, hmm, what you wanna do, Christine? And to be honest, I know the aquarium is nearby. I've got over 70 scuba dives under my belt and I love the ocean. So I made my way over there walking through Centennial Olympic Park, which is really nice. And I was being silly in the rain because I mean, come on, no one was around. Can you guess what hip hop song I was singing at the top of my lungs? Let's just say that everyone and their mother was at the aquarium. But you know what? Traveling alone is awesome because in these instances, one, I can just wander wherever I want without trying to find or follow someone else. And two, I can use my favorite tactic to enjoy really crowded spaces, which is to put my headphones on and flip between soothing sounds of classical, jazz, and super dirty rap, which makes for a new perspective and a really entertaining way to watch fish. It was time to leave Atlanta soon and I was trying to think of what I might be missing. Do you remember that gumbo from earlier? Because I do. I went back to the food shop because I didn't get what you're supposed to get, which is the dessert and specifically the bread pudding. 
This bread pudding is to die for. And as I enjoyed it, I noticed that I was no longer fitting in my pants. What a sweet way to end my trip. Atlanta, it's been real. It was so easy to get into this city and to enjoy it. I'll be back for more adventures real soon. Oh.